When it comes to wine, labels can be confusing once you get past the standard American Chardonnay, Cabernet, etc. And a trip to Far Shelf Wine isn't just good enough for the taste buds, it's also a lesson in geography. We're broadening our wine horizons here at Foxcroft Wine Company, joined now by the owner, Conrad Hunter. Conrad, you're going to help us understand better what's in the bottle before we even open it. Right. Okay. Well, wh what I wanted to do was compare and contrast New World wine versus Old World wine. Old World wine, it's original, hence the <laughs> name. Thousands of years, wine was known by the place it came from rather than the grape bridle. Right. The Romans found that certain grapes grew better in certain locations. Mm -hmm. Typically, there were towns around where these grapes were planted, and the, the wine took on the name of the town. So all of this information isn't supposed to confuse us or make it convoluted. It actually gives us more information about what it is that we're going to drink. Exactly, because those locations that did well for certain grapes, they took on a different characteristic than a location down the road. By contrast, you know, American wine culture pretty much got wiped out with prohibition. It really didn't start back in a strong way until the 1960s out in California. And being what we are as Americans, as consumers, they tried to simplify the verbiage. And they thought putting the varietal name on the bottle would make a lot more sense. And that's great, but you know, if you just buy a bottle of Chardonnay, you don't, you're not really sure what's in the bottle. You know what the grape varietal should taste like somewhat, but you don't know what, whether if it's from this region or that region, and they can taste drastically different. Conrad, really the best way to learn about wine is to drink it. That's my favorite. <laughs> okay. Um, this is the Chablis. Mm -hmm. It's from the north of Burgundy. It's very lean and minerally. You can almost taste a, a chalkiness on the finish. Mm -hmm. That's because underneath the whole region of Chablis, this was originally a seabed, and there's white chalk. The same chalk runs up through Burgundy and Chablis, goes over to the cliffs of Dover. Okay. And so the wine reflects that. I like that one. Yeah. What's this right here? This is Merceau. This is about 55 miles south in Burgundy proper. It's going to be richer, a little more oak. Oh, this one's nice. This is the classic model that all New World Chardonnays originally started from. Oh, I like that one. All right. And this one here? And last but not least, there's a Newton Red Label. It's from Napa Valley. Mm -hmm. It's going to be rich and oaky. It goes through what? It's called malolactic fermentation, so it's got a little round or buttery kind of flavor, it's which like softens butter. the acidity. Typically, this would be, you know, you'd like to have that with a meal, but although you can obviously drink it by itself. You'd like to invite people to come here to Foxcroft Wine Company to learn more for themselves, correct? Definitely. You should engage us. We're a wealth of knowledge, and we have a lot of wine to drink here. You guys make it so easy, and we can drink some wine. Oh, Let's yeah. do it. Sounds good. Foxcroft Wine Company is a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful place. I love it. The people in there are so knowledgeable and so friendly. Foxcroft Wine Company, by the way, has their 15% off case sale this week. So if you go in, you buy a case of wine, you'll save 15%. You also receive a free six bottle reusable wine bag with your case. Foxcroft Wine Company has two locations, one in Fairview Road, the other one in Dilworth. Go to foxcroftwine.com for more information. The great stuff.